Schultz. You're watching MSNBC, the place for politics on Chesapeake Tuesday. Why Hillary Clinton? Why not Barack Obama? Well, glad to talk to you, Andrea. Thank you very much. And uh, why Hillary? Well, to me, she's the most experienced. I know her. I've known her a long time. I respect her. I trust her. And I, I like her. I work with her, and I've seen her develop and, and, uh, as a leader. And I think she's fully capable of being a, a great president. So uh, uh, I think uh, I'm glad to recommend her and, and uh, endorse her and recommend her to the people of Ohio. Ohio is obviously going to get a lot of attention here as we as we go on in the next uh, few weeks here, leading up to the, the primary here and in Texas that same day. And uh, so we're looking forward to having her in Ohio a lot during that time and look forward to working with her. Senator, you know, a lot of people are criticizing the Clinton campaign. She changed her manager just in the last couple of days. She called her big fundraisers to reassure them yesterday that things aren't going off track. Uh, how does she stop Barack Obama's momentum when he has just won four big ones and is certainly ahead in the polls, at least today, in these three? Well, at least the polls, that, that is correct, as I understand it. I've just been watching your program and some others, too. But uh, I think, you know, when it comes to Ohio and Texas, those are the big ones uh, here coming up in about three weeks. And so we're looking forward to that. I know she's going to spend a lot of time here in Ohio. And, and uh, you know, I don't talk down Barack Obama. I'm just talking up Hillary. I think she's the best candidate. She's had the uh, most experience. And uh, so we're, we've, we've uh, I've looked at her, the, the things that she has stood for during this campaign. And... Uh, the, uh, some other people, you know, have, have developed this thing, to, uh, have looked at it also. The New York Times, for instance, in their endorsement a few weeks ago talked about, and I quote, her depth of her knowledge, the force of her intellect, the breadth of her experience. Uh, and and I, I think they're accurate in that. Uh, Joe Klein in this week's, uh, this week's Time magazine talks about the, uh, she, uh, in talking about the debates, uh, and the quote was it in part that uh, she simply knows more. Well, I think that's a powerful judgment, and I think those are experienced people looking at her as I'm looking at her here. Uh, I would never endorse somebody I did not respect and know and feel I could recommend to other people. And I think she's fully capable of being a great president. Do you have any problems with her uh, with her position on Iraq as a war hero, uh, former astronaut, someone who has followed this debate very closely? How do you think her Iraq position, which was to vote for the war and to refuse to apologize or to say that that mistake that vote was a mistake, um, how do you think that will play with Ohio voters? Well, I, I think they'll understand that. As I understand, what happened on that was uh, the president was really imploring the Congress to not take any arrows out of his quiver as he was trying to uh, negotiate. And she voted to give the president that, that vote of confidence that he would do the right thing. Well, they used that vote then to go off and do all of their, their own things in going into Iraq. Uh, the important thing to me is what uh, is not that. The important thing is the future. What are we going to do in Iraq from here on? Uh, I was all for Afghanistan. I was on the uh, Senate Select Committee on Intelligence for eight years before I left the Senate. Uh, back some years ago, and we knew exactly what was going on in in uh, Afghanistan. That's where the Al Qaeda and the other uh, uh, terrorists were were being trained, and we had actually a lot of information on that. Excellent intelligence on what they were doing. We did not have that same kind of information when they decided made a, a what I see as a as a flawed decision to go into Iraq. And uh, the important thing now is how we get out of there and at the same time fulfill our commitment to uh, work with the people there for the mess that we have helped create in that area. There's been some talk that maybe we're doing better now, but, uh, you know, that's a, touch, that's a very bad situation where we're letting just a few of our people, our troops, be uh, the representatives of this country over there. Some of them are over there now. They're on their fourth tour, and some going back now actually for their fifth tour, I understand. Now, uh, if we're going to have, we have a lot of work to be done there in, in uh, shoring up our military and in working with the Iraqi people to, uh, and, the, and their military to get them so that they can handle it themselves. So uh, I think it's good that we start winding down. Sometime they have to take care of their own, own problems over there, and uh, we can be a support structure for a while. But I think we got in there under flawed judgment, and uh, it's going to be tough getting out.
John Glenn, as you look forward toward March 4th in Ohio, do you think that a series of victories for Barack Obama are going to erode Hillary Clinton's lead in Ohio, or are you going to have a hard time protecting that lead? I, don't, I, I think the, the people of Ohio are more, uh, we're more of a representative state of everything that's in this country right now. I wish Ohio was the first to, to have a primary. Uh, Ohio is probably the, the most diverse state in the Union. We have some of everything that makes up the United States here. And it's used as a test marketing by manufacturers who come in here, as you probably are aware. Uh, and so we're, we're a different type state than most of the others and the ones that are having uh, their voting today. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be working very hard to, uh, to uh, get this message across here in Ohio. The governor, has in, uh, Ted Strickland, has uh, endorsed Hillary, of course, and is working very hard on her behalf. And, uh, but, you know, I, I come back to what I said before. I've known her a long time. I respect her, trust her, like her, worked with her. I think she's, she's experienced. Uh, she's developed as a leader and is uh, fully capable of, of taking over on day one to be a great president. All right, John Glenn, thank you very much. And as we both know, if John Kerry had won Ohio, he would be President John Kerry.